Hey everybody, I'm Rick. Welcome to Talking Habs. In this video, I'm going to review the game between the Montreal Canadiens and the Ottawa Senators last night in Ottawa. Not a very good game for Montreal. It was a 5-1 win for Ottawa and uh, Montreal just didn't seem to have it. Uh, they've got a really tough schedule, so this is a valid excuse. Um, didn't make the game any more fun to watch. But um, they look tired out there, um, not much energy or urgency, and their compete level was kind of off. And this is validated by the players themselves. I read a, a couple of um, reviews, and I think it was Edmondson and Anderson both said they, uh, their compete level was low, their energy level was low, and they were flat. So it's coming from them. And I have to attribute that to the schedule because it's kind of been brutal. Now, it doesn't get any better tonight. When they play Toronto in Toronto on a back-to-back, -back, Toronto's not on a back-to-back, -back. I'm sure they're going to be resting some players, and let's hope that works for Montreal. Um, uh, Calgary lost last night, so that means that uh, I think just uh, one more point, or um, I think just one more point kind of knocks them out completely uh, from contention. All right, so we're going to get into it. So it wasn't they didn't start out the way I was hoping. Like I said, they were flat. Um, they didn't have the energy, the urgency, all that stuff. And it showed. Um, it was kind of back and forth and stuff like that. It's not that Ottawa dominated them like some games they have, but Montreal wasn't playing well. You could see the sloppy sloppy passing. There no puck luck. Um, it's just that kind of stuff. So 11.35 into the first. Shane Pinto, their big rookie right now, um, other than Stutzla, uh, gets his first goal in his ninth game, um, and it uh, goes like this, actually. Uh, and it's from Zub, and if you remember my preview, um, I pointed to three players, and they were two of those three players. Uh, Zub with a shot from the point. The rebound goes to Pinto, standing all alone at the crease, untouched for an easy... And just popped it into the net. So that's they're up one nothing. Um, yeah, it continues on the way it ha was before the goal. It continues on after the goal until 1928. Edmondson gets his third goal from Toffoli and Suzuki. And this is almost straight off the draw. Uh, Nick Suzuki wins the draw. He gets it to Edmondson, who um, passes it over to Toffoli at the blue line. Toffoli kind of draws everybody's attention because it's the Foley. He's been on that hot streak. And I guess they think he's going to shoot or do something more direct to the net. And Edmondson breaks down into the uh, left circle. And it, I mean, it looks like a give and go kind of play. And But it, when reading about it, I don't know that it was the way they talked about it. But anyways, it looks like a give and go to, to Foley. He draws everybody's attention. Edmondson sneaks in, puck comes back to him. And um, he, not an open net, but he's got a, you know, Nobody, he's got a straight shot to the net. And uh, he scores. So, ties it up. And uh, what well, was 1928? So, I mean, that's the end of the period. Um, so, you'd think, you know, that the momentum would, might, might change. They come out better in the second. But Montreal's second period hasn't been really their best. So, <laughs> 344 in. Brady Kachuk. His 17th from Norris and Brandstrom. Norris was the other guy that I said I think would have an effect on this game. And he had a good game. Um, oh, it's over here. <laughs> Norris, who's below the goal line at the side of the net on the right side. And uh, he just finds a, a Brady Kachuk streaking in uh, from uh, right to left, I guess. And, um, yeah. Um, and he, uh, he shoots it in past Allen. <laughs> That's what are you going to say? Of course, Kachuk's going to get a goal. And um, usually, when Kachuk has a goal or he's a big part of the game, um, Ottawa wins. Uh, all right, so that's, uh, again, second period just goes like that till uh, 1952, and Ottawa gets there very late, eight seconds left in the period goal to kind of, I mean, at that point, it's kind of a nail in the coffin. From Paul, his fifth from Brandstrom, and it's just a tip in. Um, Brandstrom point shot, and it's just, uh, Paul just kind of sticks his stick out, and it's not a fluke. He touched the puck. That's not easy to do, and not, like, he didn't, like, he just sort of barely touched it, but enough to throw Allen off, and it beats Allen. 
And uh, that's it for the period. Third period, 440 in. Uh, Brown gets his 19th from Zub and Tierney. And it goes like this. So Zub's uh, right point pass. He's on the right point. Brown's in the left circle. And he, he so it's cross, uh, cross the ice. And... Um, and he hits him with a one, and it's a one timer pass down. So you can see, and Brown's there waiting for it. Nobody touching him, and one timer beats Allen. I don't know where the defense was last night. I really don't. Um, 10 19, uh, Alex Formanton gets his fourth from Paul and White. And it's basically a uh, play behind the net, whatever. Puck comes out to Paul. Paul catches Formanton, breaking up the ice right at the red line. Foreman breaks in, comes uh, right to left. And um, puts it over Allen's glove. And that's it. There's the scoring. And if you didn't think it was over then, it was over then. Even though there was still 10 minutes to go, they weren't coming back from four, four goals down when they weren't coming back from one and two goals down. And they're chasing the, they're chasing the score, it seems like, every game. And it's not, gonna, it's not good when you do that. Allen stops 29 of 34. For 853 um, save percentage, that's right. Forsberg, 30 of 31 for 968. Shots on goal, 31 for Montreal, 34 for Ottawa. Face-off percentage, 45 for Montreal, 55% for Ottawa. Power plays, 0 for 1 for Montreal, 0 for 2 for Ottawa. So both PK, although not a lot of power, uh, power plays. 31 hits for Montreal, 37 for Ottawa. So uh, we were outplayed by Ottawa. I don't know what else to say. That's it. Half stars of the game. X. X. Whoever signs. No. Um, uh, is there a star, was there a star last night? You know, there's a lot of games where they don't play well. And there's somebody or two or whatever out there. And uh, I, I, so a lot of times I'll give it to Allen because he's left alone. But, you know, there were a couple of goals there I could say. Uh, so I'm not going to give it to Allen and I'm not giving it to anybody. No stars in this game. Uh, stinkers of the game, too many to mention. No guess to score winner last night for the guess to score contest. So um, continues to be hard once again to win. Uh, after early in the season, we had a few winners and then so it's really hard. Um, so hopefully for the next game, you'll uh, give your guess and somebody will win. So this game was full of sloppy passing and sloppy defensive play, leaving guys just open uh, around the net. Just, I don't know, unexplained. Um, I'm sh they were tired. Uh, flat all game, no energy, tough schedule is, is the only excuse I can really come up with. This should have been a game where they come out you know, it's the first game of back-to-back. -back. It's not going to get better on the second game. So usually on the first game, yeah, but here, they were flat. So I don't know. I hope tomorrow they can just reverse that and have their good game on the back-to-back -back game. I say tomorrow. I'm filming this Thursday, so it's tonight. Line combos did not work. Why did they change the, the lines again? This is something when I saw the line changes, I was like, why? It didn't make sense. On defense, it didn't work, and it didn't work up front. And I hope, finally, when guys start to come back, first of all, well, Froelich will go back to the taxi squad, but, man, Eric Stahl has to sit. <sighs> he has to sit. He's doing nothing. He turns over to Puck. He's not getting... He's not effective. I'm sorry. I don't know. Eric Stahl... I, I respect the player for what he's done in his career, but right now, he's got to sit. He's not helping them out at all. At all. So I don't know why the line combos were changed the way they were. I think um, I think KK's not working out on the, on the wing as well. Maybe he's find a way. Sit, stall, put KK in there. Even if it's the fourth line, he's better off than, than what he's doing right now. So I hope they do something. Are you going to juggle the lines like that? Make it effective? It's not. It's not being effective. And speaking of that, I think Ducharme got outcoached in the last game, last night. I mean, he got outcoached. He's been getting outcoached. I, I don't know. Sure, they had a three-game winning streak, but I mean in general, right? And I think he got outcoached last night. There was no urgency to their game, as I said. Didn't play hard all 60 minutes. I mean, they were, I mean, fatigue, bad schedule, all that. So, offense went, pfft. <laughs> that's it. Perimeter play, they really couldn't win the middle last night. 
They couldn't get in there where Ottawa seemed to be able to get into the middle without a problem. Players getting there untouched. Montreal, no, couldn't even get, couldn't even smell it. Can't play from behind as much as they do. As I just said, they've been uh, chasing the lead um, almost every game. Every game. At least to start. I mean, pretty much, right? Um, it seems like they're chasing the lead every game uh, lately. Even though they've had some wins, come back, uh, come from behind wins. But you can't do that cons and be consistent. It's not going to happen. So Montreal finishes 4-4-2 four, four and two versus Ottawa. Not the kind of season we were hoping for against Ottawa, but... That's it. All right, so um, next game. Next game is tonight, Thursday at 7 p.m. in Toronto. My pregame will be at 6.30 tonight. I have a birthday in the family. Um, I have to go. I, I'll be out for a little bit. I won't get back in time. So uh, it'll be 6.30 just for tonight, and it'll go back to normal the next one. And live cast is at 7.10 tonight. 7.10, just so I have enough time in between. <laughs> All right, so um, give a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, if you have any comments, leave a comment in the comment section. Don't, please don't leave a guess the score comment in the comment section. I'm doing a review right after this, so leave it there. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, oh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, ring the notifications bell. That'll get you your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge right here at Talk and Habs. Yeah, like anybody's still watching to do that because uh, I wait so long. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please stay safe out there. I'll see you later on the two live streams and next videos and all that kind of stuff. And look for the previews coming out soon. Thanks, everybody. Peace out. See you next one. Bye.